than never. So. Or Saturday morning. But no. All right. So we got Sam and Max versus. I don't really know who this other guy is. Bogster and Chris. Chris. Copernicus. Copernicus. So I guess his real name is. It is Chris. Chris. Tag It'd be really Chris. funny if his like name was name was Jeff. Jeff or yeah, Jeff yeah. or something, and his his tag was Caperna Chris. I've always wanted to be like, my name is Josh, but like my tag is just like Kyle. <laughs> like it's not even a joke; it's just Kyle. Kyle's Revenge or <laughs> the Kyle. A uh, Kaiga. <laughs> Gosh. Like Taiga, but uh, I get it. Yeah, I okay. Get you. So you got the you got the floaty squad here. I guess no one's gonna change the two names there at the bottom. The Apex Boys. Apex Boys. Fun fact: I went to Chris's house once. I think that was his house. He played with Boggle in them. They had pizza. Is that, is that what I was about to say? Is that, is that it? <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> is that, is that your whole story? Fun you just fans. went over this guy's place one time? I did. Wow. Ooh, it floated teams like straight. Jigglypuff nice. failed to get him off the edge there. Good trade there by Peach. Oof. Ooh, that was pretty good. Let's see if Chris, but Jigglypuff managed to do enough to keep. Peach get back on stage. This flood team just lives forever. Oh, uh, you might die. Oh, that's yeah, it. That's, that's it. Ouch. I don't think this green team matches up well against Jigglypuff as a whole. As uh, against Floaties, really, as a whole. I know yeah. Captain Fal There's only so much Captain Falcon can do against Floaties. I feel like you need some foxes against this team, but yeah. we have no foxes here. There's no somehow. foxes. And, like, a down at... A, uh, you know, side air against for a Sheik against either of these guys ain't gonna do too much either, you know, because yeah. they can go find a way to get back on stage. Sam's living, I can't believe he that. Both of them are living. Jigglypuff still hasn't lost a stock yet. Bottle's doing pretty well in stocks, but Chris is down, which makes sense because he's playing Falcon. I mean, Jake's just is so easy to get gimped by this team right now. Yep. And once again, that's another stock, down to one stock left. It just really isn't fair for a Captain Falcon. If you're like a Falcon on this, you have to get like early knees if you want to compete. If you're not killing them at like 80 with knees, then it's like you're gonna be struggling. They haven't done a great job of controlling neutral. They're doing a little bit better of a job right now, but they really just need Captain Falcon to kind of stay in the middle of that stage and not the get off, here? No. knocked off really early. It's like yeah, that's, that's it. Dead. No real good way for Falcon to save his teammate, I feel like. No down air. I mean, because he's, he's got his down air, but that contributes nothing to the, to the match at hand. Uh, I don't think e anyone on the stage has that function, but I'll keep my eyes open. You know, if, if someone does procure artifacts of those size, I will be the first to mention it. <laughs> they're, they're like three dollars at a grocery store, man. They're not expensive. All right. So let's look at blue team manages to get back on stage, both of them after being knocked out, and they're really close to just finishing this off. They can kill the Max here. There is that. some hope. There is some hope, but it's just so stops. hard to kill yeah. both of them. And when it's hard to kill, it's hard. When it's hard, it's hard enough to kill Jigglypuff half the time, but when you have to deal with two guys, oh my. Yeah. That's just icing on the cake right there. That just makes you feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> you lost, it was yeah. totally a called for it too. Yeah. If he had teched it though. That would have been hype. That would have been amazing. I remember there was one time uh, Sam, uh, you know, Boggles was messing me up one time and he hit me into this. He, he went way off the edge with his Sheik and back aired me into the wall at Yoshi's and I teched it and survived. I still lost nice. the match, but it was the hypest thing of all time. The hype so. techs are always good. I don't tech much. It's one, of the, it's, one of the, it's one of those things we have to practice it. Yeah. And back when I was practicing things, I did get all right at it. Devin there was a good there was a good stage to take blue team to. It would have been this stage. So this is kind of the one to go to, but it's still like really confusing. I think this is well this, is this winners finals. Uh, yes, yes, winners finals. So it is a best of five. So blue team would not have no bands. Bandis. 
recovery by Boggle. Chris is actually living this time pretty well. They're up, two stocks. Well, on a smaller map, you know, the chaos is really bad for floaties because they could just accrue, dam accrue damage really quick and they'll die sooner because the match is smaller and the stage is smaller and everything's smaller. Seems so happy there. Oh, did he kill someone? Not no. quite. Oh, he still did. Oh. Still edge. Nice edge cancel. Right now, we have two people living beyond what They're I think they really like should the be living. They're looking like the real floaties now. Oh shoot, now That yeah. was work, for sure. Oh, okay, so he finally does, but 174 is good. Especially on Yoshi's. Absolutely. And right now, green team's looking solid on this smaller stage. I wonder if these guys... I know they like their friends they play a lot. I wonder how many times they've teamed. They might have oh, chemistry. he is saved by the cloud. It's always nice. Let's see if green team can regain their footing here. They have not so far. The longer it takes them to green. Oh, they both. Yeah, they both they managed to get things stage. back to neutral. Crystal hasn't been able to do much though. Buddy. Oh, what Oof, a tech. What a nice tech. Great save there by Boggle too, but he ends up dying, but gets a few more percentage. Green team has done a much better job of getting back onto the stage this game. And well, Peach is already not. back to 1%. The smaller stage has paid off well for this green team. Oh, yeah. That's an That's unnecessary going, kill, but it's one that I don't think is too big of a deal. They still have a two stock lead, Ooh. and they're juggling Forward Peach around right here. now. Oof. I can't believe that worked. I can't, I can't believe that worked either. No, Sam does that I've do. never seen it work. Four, oh, miss lead. Uh, Not really a super punish. I think he was going for the back air and the knee since he was at such a low percentage. But I think it's he's that kill. No, he did not get the kill he wanted. Okay, so that should about do it. I think get away from that ledge. Bar barring he kills both of them yeah. and then gets a double rest off or something it's crazy. Not undoable, but. Especially for the nice. Jigglypuff. Yeah, and kinda. Jigglypuff. Definitely the best oh wow! Oh, that should do it. All right. You need to get one of them, but it's just asking for a little now, too boys. much. So I'm guessing they'll go Dreamland. It's kind of the yeah. I'd fi yeah, I would. Pick. I would figure they would go to Dreamland. There we go. It's kind of the two hard counter picks against both teams. But I don't think. You know, Captain Falcon and Sheik don't struggle at this map. They don't have the survivability but it's not, of the other yeah, two. It's not like a Mars. But, uh, like, it still gives them room to move around and stuff in, which I think they'll both excel at. So it's, I don't think this is much of a counter pick as the other map was. Ooh, really nice rest there by Jigglypuff. Ooh, juggling. Oh, wow, that Sheik just got juggled around. Really accidental kill there from his teammate. Same again on that Jigglypuff. Sam's holding the stocks now. You really need to hope, you know, if in this situation you really want to try and minimize the amount of damage you do to your own teammate, especially with a set this close. Chris is getting wild throwing these on the ledge, but not getting punished, so. Oh, he gets back on. Wow, another nice knee there by Copernicus. Copernicus really elevating his game since day, uh, game one. He yeah, he's definitely looked success. a lot better. He's looked a lot more comfortable against the floaties so far. Yeah, they're looking pretty both, good. Both, you know, once again though, both yeah, these blue people are surviving. Oh, and nice although Copernicus dominated that stock there for the last 30 seconds, but yet he's the first one to die, it just shows you why this is such a good counter pick for the blue team. Oh no, bad forwarder. He's gonna live. He's living. Living? <laughs> oh, he got him off the edge. Oh, he gets, oh, he gets back on stage. Not really oh, much of a- Oh, grabs the wrong a, person. <laughs> oh, missed oh. rest, but not not killed. So he's living. Oh, really nice side B there. Nice mix up from Jigglypuff. Oh, Frankers is in trouble. Oof. But really like nice. Get the save. And oh, maybe? Nah, no. get the really kill. nice A there by Proto Chris coming in and finishing off Jigglypuff, though. Oh, that should do it, though. Oh, maybe not. No, he's dead. He should be dead. 
Why is he dead yet? Oh, now he's dead. Yeah. Nothing really more than Boggle could do. Jigglypuff getting him off. He needs help. Not good. He needs help. He's not, he's not gonna get rest. Get rest. I'm surprised he didn't get the rest off there. Oh, well, knees through knee Puff gets Shield and hits teammates. Boggle. Oh, that He's back on stage. A really good help there by Captain Falcon to make sure his teammate get back on stage. Yeah, but let's get that Peach that he's living. Sam, I don't think he's died before 130 yet. All right, this game is really close. They need, you know, once again, you see Jigglypuff go straight for that Sheik, trying to get him dead so they can even things up really quickly here. Unless he can get this kill on. He does not. It's up knees. I'm surprised that grab missed. I think they should just double team Sam and not worry about the puff right now. I would agree on that. So that yeah. puff's about. Oh, he does not get the back air on that Captain Falcon, allowing him to gain stage right again. And now this Sheik's kind of juggling this Peach. Oh, great oh, nice tech. tech. Nice tech. Nice. Right when he needed it. Oh, and the oh. knee. He's living though. I think Boggle tried to get him. That would be crazy. Oh, that Sheik right, is dead, live. but I still feel like the advantage if this Captain Falcon could survive for a little bit longer. Oh, he gets oh, the D. That's it. That's it. All right, they gotta let Boggle's gotta lead this one for sure. Chris should just back away. <gasps> that was the worst thing. Gets that could the forward. Don't say it. a forward air on his teammate. That is the worst thing that could happen. He's too high for a forward air right after that. Boggle still Let's looking good. Good DI though. there by Max. Oh, the high ceiling of Dreamland keeps him alive. This is exactly why this map was chosen by the blue team. Uh oh, is that it? Oh, that's it. That should do it. Great game. Really clutch from from Sheik finishing that up right after he accidentally killed his own teammate to kind of come retain composure and finish up. Hey, his team. Close the door. What? What? Run it back to the land of dreams. Makes sense, but uh, yeah, green team did really struggle here. I think it helps when you get you got a lot of movement options on this map. It's definitely because Falcons look more comfortable yeah. against these floaties, though, since the first game. I've seen a lot of Falcons actually neutral to the stage against like floaties, just because like they can move all around the platforms and stuff. It's a good map for Falcons. He does jump up into that Peach Down Smash. Wow, great turn combo. Oof, and that accidental hit on his own teammate, and then nothing. He should not survive this, and he does not. Dead. Blue team have very low percentages, they're looking pretty good. Sam almost kind of died on that DI though. <laughs> and Nia 60 almost killed him. Nia's killing him. scary. If you're not DI right, that needs to kill you only any percent. Wow, everyone's on the left, but no one's dead. Uh, same guys. Nice grab there for Captain Falcon to make sure his teammates survive there. Uh, held on to him for a little bit. Oh, was just playing on the ledge. He's just working right now. He's putting in some damage on a peach. Putting on some real damage on a peach. Oh, nice for. Is he gonna do it? Try and save Chris if he can. Is he gonna do it? His teammates not around. Oh, he gets back. He's there. Surprise! Oh, he's gonna go try and save him. Gets, Real nice job there by Jigglypuff. He dies, but Jigglypuff came to the aid of his teammate there. He most needed it. Still pretty close game. Max has all stocks with Sam only with two. So he does have low percent. I think Max kind of realized he had to step up here and be kind of the stock tank of his team. Hit him. All right, there we go. And he has done his job so far. He just died. Still, he kills Sam here. He's even, but he can just float away on this map. Yeah. Ooh, some quick damage there. Crazy side beat by Chris, but it doesn't really get punished. Yeah, he's really reaching on that one. Sam just does not die. Oh, but he, Chris gets back. Max does not get the edge guard. Max has not done a great job of edge guarding 
off, you know, these, 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 this set so far. Not as usual, I feel like, against Falcon, he's usually very yeah, good. Yeah, you should, I mean, you're supposed to be good against me. Yeah. He's one of the easier guys to edge guard, too. Alright, it's about even now. Blue team's slight percentage lead. It's good. You gotta get the. I gotta get the edge to the blue team here, just because of survivability. But Sheik is putting in work oh. on this peach. Already up to 80%. Managed to get back on stage, but you know, one D and Peach might be dead. And he is put in. He's getting recruiting some serious damage right now. Sam needs to just survive, but he's still kind of oh, going in like great. a wild man. Oh, Puff's dead. That Falcon factor. And Peach just goes and lands right in the platform in between the two green team. Two green oh, team member is still surviving. Oh, I can't believe Sam keeps oh, playing. He just goes right back to Jigglypuff. Not even. No, oh, that's, it's a he's got one. It. Oh, this is looking bad. They were so close. If Sam had died that Let's one. kill this dude now. Oof. He's got to kill this Peach right now. But it's just not oh, happening. This, what a good job by that wow. blue team, not giving Falcon any they chance to come back. They cleaned up that 2v1 real nicely. Probably the nicest I've seen so <sighs> far today. After we watch a couple of people struggle to kill in the 2v1, and one person actually bringing it back in the 2v1. That. That, was, that was impressive showing by that individual. Yeah, I, I will agree on that. Pokemon, good map against them too. Kind of like Yoshi's, you're gonna get early kills. Falcon can move even better here than Yoshi's. He's got, yeah, he's got a lot of horizontal movement opportunity. So this is gonna be a good map for them. We'll see what, how Blue Team uh, switches it up because they, I mean, they barely kind of won on Dreamland. And they lost once on Dreamland, so it's not as bad, I think, as Yoshi's was for the Blue Team. They've also got some more room to roam and they won't run into each other as much and get, you know, hit at the same time and hit each other as much. But I still think the opportunity goes to the, to the green team. I don't know what other map they would have gone to. You know, maybe Final Destination. I don't think this is a, the worst map that could happen to the blue team. Not a whole lot of vertical killing opportunities by the green team anyway. Besides Sheik's up air. Oh, nice read there by the Jigglypuff. Green teams oh, he's now. down to two stocks already. That is big. This changes to the rock formation. No team can super punish down there in the pit except Baby Peach, who clears out that sheet. Jigglypuff still has four stocks left. They're going to try and kill him. But he's still living. He's living. Copernicus has been playing a lot more hesitant now, I think. He kind of got scared after losing both stocks so fast. Which he should. Now this Jigglypuff has Sheik locked in the corner. Does not manage to kill him, though. Missed opportunity there. He does finally end up dying. This Peach needs to survive. Let's see if Jigglypuff can help him clear people out. He's still wow. living. Yeah, really surprised. Dead point. by that. I mean, they're still pretty close, actually. After a rough start for Green Team, they're down, only down by percentage. Well, if you get the Ooh. knee, facing the wrong way. DI'd well by Jigglypuff to DI behind Captain Falcon. Ooh, wow. Surprising early there. kill there. Yeah, I'm not you really see the backer coming, possibly. This needs to be a kill by Jigglypuff. Or Peach. Ooh, he's living. Or though. both of them. Oh, this is an opportunity. Not taken advantage of completely by the blue team, but well done to get at least the sheet kill. Alright, Falcon just trying to live. This is a very close game so far. Falcon put a lot of damage on. Uh, he need to get his Captain Falcon right kill. Do, do, do oh, that no. sh might do it. Grab the, uh, grabs the ledge. It's a death. Don't die here. And he dies. The, oh, he does not. Nice DI yeah, there by Sam. And he gets back on stage with a forward air. That was very surprising. He does die, but he gets he survives long enough. Clean up Max. Oh, very hesitant. Should have gone quick grab. That would have been hard for sure. Stomps Ooh, everyone wow. but kills Max. That was big. That was very big. 
Technically, they're up in stocks, but percentage-wise, I say they're still down. Unless Bongo Captain lives Falcon forever. is doing a reasonably good job of, of surviving oh, wow. so far. Great. Oh, and he gets the kill. So now this game is real close, He's almost dead even. Neck and neck. Whoever dies first. And that Peach down smash really brings things close. This Peach needs to survive. Not, oh, nice no. and not get hit by stage. a forward air, which he does. Oh, I don't know if he's gonna make that back. This Jigglypuff oh, needs to help out. I know he's trying to kill. Oh, it going just really hard. depends who kills. Oh, and he gets oh, the kill no, first. Oh no, he kills himself. That's that kills big. Puff, he's alive. Sam has not died. He just does not die. Now it's just like last game where he has the two on one. Oh, and he's just throwing the turn up. Throwing the turn up. Oh, dude, such a good job of just throwing that turn up. Oof. Oh, oh, nice wow. I thought he neutral. Hit. Got, oh, uh -oh. That was a mistake by Jigglypuff. Sam had that bottom, you know, the ledge covered. Wow. Great set. Really close set there. I would not be surprised if we see that again. Grand yeah, Finals. I'm really just in both those games, the, the blue team just clutched it. They're like almost dead even both times. Only 215.